much, Dan. Hey, we got a lot to talk about. It's time to talk entertainment with John Castlemedes from the Las Vegas Review Journal. Journal. Hi. You've got a column that's called Cats. Welcome back, Dana. Uh, thank you. It did like you miss me? You're gone. I did. Yeah. Okay. All, all 12 weeks, I missed you. <laughs> 12 weeks. I wish I was off for 12 weeks. That'd be a great <laughs> vacation, right? All right. Let's talk. We've got some breaking news in the show world. First, we're going to talk about a show that you announced last night that was announced today. Yes. And it's coming to the SLS, but. Even before that, something that just came in. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting the dates even right now, but Cesar Milan, the dog whisperer, is yeah. going to be doing a week at the David Copperfield Theater in September, a solid week of seven shows, an autobiographical uh, account of oh. his uh, life and career. So look for that in the column. And as we get the, date, the t dates and times by the end of the segment, I'll, I'll run them. Okay. This is not the this show. Is but not however, the Cesar Milan. This is so not the show. <laughs> way, way away from the show. But this way off brand. Is Blanc de Blanc. This is Blanc de Blanc. And uh, it's coming to the SLS which mm -hmm. is going to be the Sahara in the fall. And so what's going on here? This is kicking off in August. It looks a little like absinthe, opium. Yeah, there you go. And, and I talked to the um, I talked to their team yesterday about all this. It, uh, it, they, the difference is that there are acrobatic acts in it, but it, it does follow a, a centralized storyline, which is not the case in absinthe. That's one thing that the, the, is the message of this show. Okay. It is acrobatic. It is adult comedy. And all of these characters evolve into a, a single storyline. It's like in, like a Moulin Rouge vibe, mm -hmm. like a French cabaret feel to it. It's cr uh, critical to the show is that there's a hot tub scene in there. You caught it at the uh -huh. end. There's a hot tub center uh, at the center of the show in the second half, and you can sit in the hot tub if you have a VIP seat. And there are two other hot tubs that can take a total of 12 people, six apiece. That's the kind of show we're looking at. Like a real hot tub? Or An like actual well, operating hot oh, tub. Oh wow. <laughs> Interesting. I've already reserved one. Oh, have you? Night, yeah. <laughs> Every night you'll be there? Fizzy water, <laughs> hot tub, opening night, August 16th. I need five volunteers. Got it. Four volunteers. <laughs> and this is something that um, has been very successful too, right? Yeah, it's gone all over the Opera world. House. Yes, it's gone on the London's West End, Sydney's, Sydney Opera House. It's, it's had a great deal of success. And these, the producers who put this show together have other titles. There's Blanc de Blanc Encore. There's some other uh, offshoots. And they're talking about bringing other titles in. Mm -hmm. to available facilities in Las Vegas. There's rumors about this show going into Caesars Entertainment Hotels. Um, it, it, a long time for SLS, and when they rebranded as Sahara, the, every, everything came together that way. But look for more out of this this brand and this show, but it's starting in August okay, interesting. At, at the Foundry. My last question that has to do with that, um, that's a big deal to, for this to go into the SLS. They haven't had like a big main, main show, right? This is their chosen residency okay. show. Alex Murillo, the, the owner of the hotel, uh, uh, handpicked this show, and they've been talking about it for more than a year. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, what else are we talking about? We are talking about Mayor Goodman, former <laughs> Mayor Goodman. He turns 80 at the end of the month, and uh, in in Las Vegas fashion, who yeah, he celebrates Las <laughs> Vegas like no other. Uh, there has been some <laughs> the, a, a major celebration yesterday, and more to come. I talked to Oscar on Monday about this the party that they're going to do on the 17th down in downtown Las Vegas. That's mm -hmm. going to be an 80 martini salute beginning at 6 p.m. at the Fremont 80. Street Experience's Main Street stage. Okay. okay. That's, uh, is, do I have the date right? Or July 18th. July 18th, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. July 18th, that's right. So we were talking about that, and he goes, I don't know what's going on. Nobody tells me anything. And then after that conversation, I hear about this uh, party they have over at the uh, Las Vegas Visitors Con and Convention Authority's mm -hmm. boardroom, where he was supposed to give a presentation as, as the uh, chairman of the ambassador committee. And all of a sudden, a party broke out there, right. a surprise party. Uh -huh. So that was yesterday. But a lot of happenings for uh, Oscar on his 80th, which is actually July 26th. Okay. So a month-long thing, but the thing at Fremont Street is open to the Public. Okay, and that's the 80 martini salute. Yeah, and all the I money, heard there's 80 bartenders involved. 80 separate bartenders <laughs> that they've recruited to do 80 toasts, and it's $20 to get a martini, and that money goes to the uh, Cleveland Clinic Lou Rubo okay. Center for Brain Health great. Keep Memory Alive Foundation. That's great. All right, we got about a minute, so let's quickly talk about this. Hard Rock uh, turning into the Virgin Hotel. Got some updates. AEG staying on board for the joint, and it's going to stay the joint, right? Yeah, they're, they've got an operating agreement in the in the joint, and they're going to continue to be their primary uh, their primary booker and, okay. and uh, set up all the shows in there. They've they put in, of course, a lot of shows in, into the uh, the joint over the last 10 years since its renovation. So they're, what, what Virgin Hotels has done and Hard Rock has done is take one of the biggest uh, concert promoters in the, in the country to manage that room. What this means is you're not, you're not only going to have um, continue to have top level entertainment in the residency headliner business, but they're, they're going to focus on grabbing the, some of the acts that might be going to some of the other uh, theaters, okay. Coliseum, Pearl, Zappos, those kinds of places. So they're in the game from 2020 and belong beyond the starts in the fall of 2020. All right, it'll be interesting. I saw a lot of good concerts at the joint. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for them to continue on. Absolutely. For sure. All right, you can read more in Katz's column in the Review Journal. You can always get it in the paper or online. There it is. It's called Katz. We'll be back after this.